do this. Make the democracy happen. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is now 7 o'clock on April 18, 2016. So I will call the meeting of the Durham City Council to order. Could we have a moment of silent meditation? Mr. Davis, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Madam Clerk, could we have roll call? Mayor Bell. Mayor Pro Tempore Cole McFadden. Present. Council Member Davis. Here. Council Member Johnson. Here. Council Member Moffitt. Here. Council Member Reese. Here. And Council Member Shul. Mayor Bell has requested an excused absence, so I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. It's been moved and properly second that we excuse the mayor. All in favor? Oh, I forgot. Madam Clerk, would you open the vote? It passes 6 0. We have tonight one ceremonial item, and that is the Earth Day proclamation which will be presented to Rhonda Parker, Director of Parks and Recreation. And it reads, whereas a sound and natural environment is the foundation of a healthy society, society and a robust economy, and whereas human activities around the globe are causing severe environmental damage that threatens human health and diminishes our planet's ability to sustain a diverse community of life and whereas the knowledge of ways to live in harmony with our environment and methods and technologies to accomplish this end already exist and whereas 
local community, communities can do much to reverse environmental degradation and contribute to building a healthy society by addressing issues such as energy use, transportation, waste prevention, and sprawl, and whereas there are sound economic, environmental, and social reasons for local governments to initiate energy efficiency and renewable energy practice, and whereas the 2016 Durham Earth Day Festival will be celebrated on April 23rd and will bring together the community in a festive atmosphere to raise awareness of environmental issues, share knowledge, and promote positive action that protects and enhances the quality of life for Durham residents. Now, therefore, therefore I, William V. Bill Bell, Mayor of the City of Durham, North Carolina, do hereby proclaim Saturday, April 23rd, 2016, as Earth Day in Durham, and hereby urge all citizens to take special note of this observance by encouraging residents, businesses, and institutions to use Earth Day to celebrate the Earth and commit to building a sustainable society. Rhonda? You have two minutes. I'm the only person to do that. Thank you, Mayor Pro Temp and City Council and City Manager's Office and residents of Durham. We're excited about this festival. It's one of many that we do. It's this Saturday from 12 to 5 p.m. And there's, it's a family-friendly event. There's something for everyone. We have a kids zone. We have an Earth Day market and sustainability expo, yoga, entertainment, and more. Um, what I would like to share with you, I have these cards, postcards in the back on the table by the door. But these are postcards, but they're also wildflowers. We have annuals and perennials that are embedded in this card that you can plant, and the instructions are at the bottom. It's just one of the ways that we're trying to promote the sustainability at Earth Day and in the city of Durham because it's so important to us. But I also want to also let you know, don't forget the recycling and e-waste and shredding at the Durham County Stadium, which is sponsored by Solid Waste. Thank you. by council members. I have several announcements, but I am not going to make them until Thursday, okay, in the interest of time. Uh, priority items by the city manager. Good evening, Madam Mayor Pro Tem and members of the city council, no priority items. Thank you, Mayor. City attorney. Thank you so much. Madam City Clerk. Yes, Madam Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, Mr. Ricardo Correa was recently appointed to the Human Relations Commission, and he's present this evening to be sworn in before City Council. I state your name. I, Ricardo Correa. Do hereby solemnly affirm. Do hereby solemnly affirm. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and the laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the state of North Carolina. The Constitution and law of the state of North Carolina. Not inconsistent herewith. Not inconsistent herewith. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of my office. Discharge the duties of my office. As a member of. As a member of. The Human Relations Commission. The Human Relations Commission. So help me God. So help me God. And. 
and I have read. I have read. Understood. Understood. And subscribed. And to the, subscribed to the code of ethics. To the code of ethics of the city of Durham. Of the city of Durham. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You could sign this. Congratulations, and thank you for your willingness to serve. I move to the consent agenda. The consent agenda consists of items that have received absolutely no negative votes in work session by our city council members. However, if there is an item that someone in the audience wants to, uh, to pull, we will do that. and hear that at the end of uh, the agenda. The first item is street and infrastructure acceptances. Item two, amendment number one to agreement to provide professional services for dam inspections, maintenance and rehabilitation. Item three, bid term contract for liquid Aluminum, aluminum sulfate, and I think there's an attachment to that item. Item four, aquatic, aquatic facilities master plan professional services contract with Sostic Design Inc. Number five, contract with Riverworks Inc. for BMS R16 vegetation management for stream restorations. Item six, this item can be found on the general business agenda, public hearings. I will entertain a vote to accept the consent agenda. Second. It's been moved and second. Madam Clerk, would you open the vote? Close the vote. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is a public hearing on the draft Fiscal year 2016-2017 annual action plan. I have no cards here that folk have signed up to speak, so I will um, declare the public hearing open and refer to staff. Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, members of the Security Council. This is the public hearing, the second of two public hearings on the annual action plan as required by our communications plan with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And I'll uh, introduce to you, uh, present to some, uh, Will McConaughey, the federal programs coordinator, to uh, have the appropriate uh, documentation in the records. Will must share with us what you want us to do tonight on this item. Make it clear. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, first and foremost, good evening, Council. The purpose of this public hearing mainly is to receive citizen comments and to have Council approve the annual action plan for submission to the Department of Housing and Urban Development. We have no citizens who want to comment. What is the next step? Do we assume that the citizens are pleased and uh, we just press forward with the agenda as outlined? That is correct. Okay, I will close the hear public hearing. The matter is back before the city council. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you always do such a good job with the support. Thank you so much. It's a big report. You do a really good job with Thank it. You. Um, Thank you. Do we create any longer uh, the, the five-year housing plan that for many years we were creating would include these sources as well as the, the dedicated funding source? Do we still create such a chart? Do you know that? Uh, yes, we do have uh, such a chart. Uh, we probably will be discussing it when the uh, at the during our budget hearing. Okay, great. Um, thank you. I don't. I don't. I feel no need to have it tonight. But I was wondering if at some point we're going to look at it again. So thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Um, on the um, on page nine, the discussion of the South Side Phase Two and the targeted media, where you where we use the college students to do some. Um, some advertising and, and acting and so forth, and you, you had previously told us about that. 
I just wondered how, and you mentioned follow-up meetings and we're, we're, we're targeting um, a more diverse population for our Southside Phase Two, and I was wondering how we were doing, uh, if, we, if we had any sense of, are we creating, you know, are we making any progress towards creating this pipeline that we're interested in? Do we have interested potential home buyers? Yes, we have held seminars uh, that were attended by a diverse uh, population. Uh, we do expect to uh, have a diverse uh, pool uh, at the appropriate time, and uh, there will be some other discussions as we, uh, about the project as we get to our budget hearing. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for paying attention to that. Okay. I think it's really important, and I really appreciate it. The, um, what happens, and I, I think Charlie actually asked about this at the work session, what happens to the unprogrammed CHODO funds? With respect to the 15% set aside, one that is the one figure that's fluid right now, yeah. um, because the application did not have the appropriate funding, we are going to offer those funds again in a not so distant future. Um, as it relates to home regulations, we will have 24 months to reserve slash commit those funds. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. And so you're expecting applications from maybe that CHODO as well as some other As possible. well as others. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, the, um, you mentioned the Interface Hospitality Network, and that has now been merged with another organization, and I'm, I'm assuming that those funds would simply go to that other organization or... Genesis Home and Durham Interfaith Hospitality Network merged earlier this year, so whatever funding that they were allocated, it would go to Family Matters. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the, um, page 29, I, I didn't, this was the one item I, I didn't really understand about housing rehabilitation. It looked like for a single home, and it was a reference of a threat to safety. I think it's about $47,000. That would be approximately the funds that are allocated to the county. Oh. As a consortium member. Got it. And typically right now we don't have the final per consortia percentage for 2016. Uh -huh. So we are using the 2015 and that equates to approximately $47,851. Did, did I get that wrong that it says threat to safety or am I? No, that is correct as well. That can be one of the elements that would be applicable for rehab. For what the county's doing with their that money. That is correct. And okay. they, those funds are designated for housing rehabilitation. Does it say county, does it list the county in here as a recipient and I missed it? Actually on page 29? Yep. It says location description, Durham County. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then, uh, do we have the unsheltered count yet um, for this year from the point in time count? We're still finalizing that number. Okay. It will be, uh, it will be uh, announced to the uh, Homeless Services Advisory Committee, uh, I think in the next, within the next 30 days. Great, thank you. And um, on page 40, you discuss the attempts that people would not be discharged into homelessness in Durham uh, from the institutions that you listed, which of course is a super important goal. And I wondered if you had any comments. I know that we work very hard for people not to be discharged into homelessness, and that there's a whole group that works on that. But I wondered if you had any sense of how we're doing on that. Are we, you know, effectively, are, is anyone being discharged into homelessness in Durham? Do you have any sense of that? Well, council member, there is a group that uh, is working on that. And there is a reason that they're working uh, yeah. on that because we have had that happen in the past. I can't say that right now there is no one that's been discharged into homelessness, but that's the act. A group that's working on that they have made some progress right. but I would not want to share with you that no one is being discharged into homelessness yeah. you know at, at, at some point in the future whenever you feel like it would be appropriate I would love to hear a little bit more about that maybe at a work session or uh, you know from you and maybe the partners um, I guess we'll be glad to do that that would be great I just think that's so important and I really appreciate that you're working on it um, that's all my questions and comments. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor Pro Tem, and thank you all for your work. Thank you for your work. You do an outstanding job, of course. Thank You're you. with the City of Durham. Okay, I have closed the public hearing. 
the matters before the council now. You can vote to receive. That's all that you ask that we do. Two things. We're asking that you uh, receive the comments and also approve the annual action plan okay. for submission to it. Been moved. Madam Clerk, would you open the vote? <laughs> Close the vote. The motion passes 6 0. Okay. Thank you. Is that, did that take care of everything? Yes. Okay. All right. Good morning. At 7 30. I was at the Duke Energy Operations Center, and I proclaim today, well, I, it's Lineman's Day. These are the folk who work on electrical poles and all that to keep our electricity going. And so we need to show our appreciation for all of these people who, without them, we might not have electricity. So I did that on the behalf of the mayor, city council. There being no other for the business, I now declare this meeting adjourned, and I will see you on Thursday at 1 o'clock.